Hi everyone! Um, we're going to make Logan a necklace today. So these are the things that we're going to need. Um, we're going to use some wire cutters, some um, regular pliers, some round nose um, pliers, some flat nose pliers, and a crimp tool. Um, some seed beads and some bugle beads. Um, these are like five millimeter bugle beads and then some crimp covers some crimps and a clasp so we are also going to use this um, wire it's a 0.38 satin cording um, it's just bead stringing wire and it's in gold um, it doesn't really matter what color um, you just need to measure out um, for a 16 inch necklace, which um, is just around the neck. It's like, doesn't really drop very much. That's the 16 inches, but we're going to um, give ourselves four extra inches and cut at the 20 inch mark. Um, this will give you some room, um, you know, to work with and it won't be so difficult. If you cut it right at the 16, you won't have enough room to work with. Um, you know, you'll it'll just be too tight. So you wanna give yourself some extra room. So the first thing we're gonna put on is this little crimp bead cover. And you put it in through the back so that it comes out the opening. And then you're going to need a crimp bead also and um, these crimp beads are so super teeny but there you go you've got it on and then we're going to tie a knot and we're going to leave a, about an inch of tail left um, and then we're going to pull the knot um, i think i use some pliers to pull it really tight yeah i've got my straight nose um, pliers and i'm just going to give it a good little tug and then we're going to take that tail and we're going to slide it back through the crimp and that little crimp bead is going to end up right next to the knot see that that's going to secure the crimp bead inside or the wire inside that crimp bead so we're going to pull it up as close as we possibly can to the little teeny knot and um, then we're going to use our crimping tool. We're gonna use the one part that punctures it and kind of like puts a little dent in it. And that makes it turn into like the, a crescent moon maybe. Then we're going to put it in the rounded and push it down and that rounds it out. And then we're gonna take that rounded part and squeeze it just by the very tip of these um, pliers and it's nice and squished. And the knot will not be able to be tugged through the crimp now. Now we're going to put the tail through the crimp cover and slide it up over the crimp and then we're going to close the crimp cover. We're gonna use um, these older pliers that are kind of rough on the inside um, that makes it easier to grip and we're going to grip each side of this little crimp cover and slowly tighten it and push it together and it turns into like a little ball these are really nifty and then it's got like a little hook on it so now we're going to put our um, jump ring inside the hook and then we're going to close that hook and secure the jump ring on the inside we're going to use round nose pliers to do this we're just kind of going to grab the middle and then turn it and it turns into like a little circle and that closes the jump ring onto it and i i always like double check but it's perfectly fine just the way it is as long as it doesn't have enough room for that jump ring to slide through now is the fun part. We get to put the beads in or on the wire. And so you can do any beads that you want. Um, I can tell you the bigger the beads, the 
um, more flexible this wire is in your necklace. Like um, these are pretty light beads and I'm doing a sequence of three 11 and then one bugle bead and then three 11 and one bugle bead. And um, these are very light beads. So um, yeah, the necklace itself won't be like very oh it's so hard to explain it just won't be um it won't like hang it'll just kind of stay in a circle but um so now we're going to put these little um 11 o's which are really hard to squeeze two um rounds of wire through these little teeny 11 o's so this is where i'm starting to have a little bit of a problem but we get through it it just sometimes it takes grabbing a tool and pushing that wire through and so that's what we'll end up doing and you really only need the wire um, both wires both ends of the wires to go through the beads for like an inch or so and I always I always get a little out of control when it comes to this I try to hide as much of the tail as I possibly can and when we're hiding it inside 11 o beads that's a very tight squeeze so with this one I think I, I think I just hit maybe an inch and a half and yeah so yeah like two rounds and that's about all it's going to take basically so i am going to try to slide these 11 o's um on but i don't think i quite get all three of them on yeah one of them's super tight so anyways just push the beads on um as many as you can to hide that tail and then we're going to snip the tail off also but yeah so if you have heavier beads then what happens is your necklace see i've got a little bit of that tail left and um, i think we're going to just snip it off right here yeah i'm going to use my wire cutter and i'm just going to sniff off snip off the rest of that tail and see i've got plenty of that tail hidden so it's not like it's going to wiggle its way free or anything so okay and now that we have it all together and the tail is hidden now we get to add the rest of our beads and um for a 16 inch brace uh, necklace um, which is fairly tight it's almost a choker um, it's kind of like that surfer look like a puka shells would land right in the dip of your collarbone yeah it's right there that's 16 inches and um, then you want to put about 15 and a half inches worth of beads on and so that's what I'm doing right now and um, I'm just gonna add three beads and a bugle three beads and a bugle and I'm gonna do that until I have um, 15 and a half to 16 inches and you just keep on doing that and come back press pause right here and then um, when you have your length of necklace then um, yeah then we'll be back alrighty now I'm back and I have all of my beads on and I have put my um, my crimp bead um, my crimp bead cover on backwards and then I have the wire and I just poke like the little pin in and I pull the wire so that it's got that little knot and now we're going to add the second crimp bead and this is the last part of it this is ending with the clasp so we've just got to get that crimp bead in and this is probably the most difficult part of making the necklace is doing this so that there's no um, lag uh, lacks between the crimp bead the clasp and the beads you know so you don't see the wire at all and so we have the crimp bead in and we have that little knot um, on the top of the crimp bead so now I'm just pushing the tail in through the crimp bead and we're going to use our pliers and kind of just cinch it little bitty bits at a time all the way through and it's running itself through the beads it's being much more cooperative <laughs> on this side than it was on the last one and it's just running its way through the beads and it'll probably end up with about an inch and a half on this side as well of the tail being hidden and i will find it eventually 
and um, oh, I'm gonna try to get it in. There we go. We're finding it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's not as far as I want it to go. So I'm gonna try that just a little bit more. It's only got like maybe an inch. So we're gonna push it just a little bit further until we've got um, at least an inch, of, an inch, maybe an inch and a half of that tail in. So we're just cinching it, cinching it. And you can see that loop is getting smaller and smaller. And eventually we're just gonna pull that through. I think I'm satisfied with this amount, right? And I'm just trying to find where it came out. There it is. There it is, I found it. And then you're just gonna pull that little tail, because now we have plenty through the bead. So we're gonna pull the tail through. And this is where you kind of have to be careful. You can't pull too hard, but you have to pull a little, a little hard to get it through but we want it not to go through the crimp. So we're gonna tug it just a little bit more and make sure that knot is right on the top of the crimp, that little crimp bead in there. And there we go, we're working the beads down and we're gonna situate it again so that we can get our pliers into the crimp we also have to squeeze that crimp right so there we go we're pulling the crimp down positioning it where it needs to be and we're gonna pull on the tail one last time and it's cinching down just like that and now we get to squeeze the crimp so the knot is right above the crimp bead and we're gonna squeeze it right there and flatten it out with our needle nose pliers. That's what those are called. <laughs> I forgot, I forget all the names every once in a while, but that's not what's important. It's um, getting the job done, right? And now we're going to, now that the crimp is closed, we're gonna close the crimp cover and that's going to form into a little bead itself, a little ball. And then we're gonna take this tail and we're just gonna snip off the extra. And super easy, snip it right off. And now you have absolutely no wire showing. It's all beads and that makes it so, so simple. If you're wondering where I get all of my little products, I am dangerously close to Hobby Lobby. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but we're gonna close up this, um, this uh, little loop again. But yeah, and um, I get absolutely everything for my jewelry making in the jewelry aisle at Hobby Lobby. So um, they have great prices. If I always say, um, everything that they sell in that jewelry aisle um, is 50% off. If you go in and there's not a sign that says it's 50% off, go in the next week because it will be, like they flip-flop it. But there you have it. There is your, um, your necklace. That's a 16-inch necklace. I hope you enjoyed watching this and um, consider giving it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you want me to uh, make a video of next and have a wonderful day.